Hello, Val here with Resgo, and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of one of our latest features called packaging. Resgo's new packaging feature is a great way to take your inventory, bundle it together, and incentivize with a discount. So let's take a closer look. From your dashboard under inventory, click on packages. If you don't have this icon in your account, please just reach out. It may mean that we need to turn it on for you. As you can see, I've already created two packages, but let's go ahead and create one together. I'm going to call this package the Raft and Zip Deluxe. We'll enter the price. We'll enter a price reduction, which will apply a percentage discount across all the inventory items that you're loading. In this case, add any tags you like. I'm going to use the tag packaging, which as you'll see, will come in handy later. And let's add our first package item, which is a morning rafting float trip, followed by our second package item, which is a zipline adventure. Now, something I'd like to draw your attention to is the pricing tiers. All the inventory items that you load into your package must have matching pricing tiers. If they don't, you will receive at this point a red error message here advising you that your pricing tiers have an error. So that's something to bear in mind. Another important section here is, is the item bookable on any date, after the previous item selected date, or after the first item selected date. In this case, I'd like them to do their rafting float in the morning followed by our afternoon zipline tour. This is also an important area. Um, this specifies how many days apart you'll allow them to book. In this case, I'd like them to book both tours on the same day, so I'll set it to one day. Spacing is also important. In this case, you don't want the customer to book two to the items that may overlap. So in this case, I'd like to leave a two hour spacing window in between the two tours to ensure they can move from one tour to the other in good time. I'm not going to add any more package items, and as far as populating the rest goes, it looks very much like populating an inventory item, so I won't get into that. You can go ahead and add your media as well, and then create the package. Once you've created the package, just like an inventory item, you'll need to hit publish. And once we've published it, we're going to see it come up as published in our feed. Great. Now what I'd like to show you is how our packages look from the customer's booking perspective on your website. So here we have our Raft and Zip Explorer. We have our beautiful image carousel, all the information we need for the tour, as well as hyperlinks to the individual items should the customer want to click through and learn more. I'm going to be adding one adult and one child. Once I do that, my first calendar for my first item will come up. Once I select that you're going to see the second calendar come up and as you can see it's asking me to book everything on the same day just as i had specified when i built the package so i've added that to my order and as you can see i wanted to show you that the itemized inventory uh, appears here which is great i'm not going to go ahead and check out because the checkout process is very similar to um, checking out of an inventory item so i'm going to close out of that now, there is another thing I'd like to show you, which is the difference between um, an inventory item and a package item in your point of sale. So let's go ahead and create a booking in our point of sale. Now, with inventory items, normally what happens is we search by date and then we see what's available. Packaging is a little bit different. So we're still able to use all these search parameters on the right. And if you remember, I created a tag called packages called package. Let's fetch the results and you can see my three packages here. Now, our packages are not date-based like the inventory, meaning as you can see we have open availability, which means we have to go ahead and select the dates. So let's click on this one. And as you can see, it clearly shows us this is a package. It contains two items and there's a 20% discount. We can once again, we're going to add one adult and one child. You can add a promo code here if you like. And then we're going to be prompted to um, enter dates for the first item. So I selected our morning of uh, rafting. And now that I've done that, I could still go ahead and edit it, but I'm going to go ahead and select our zipline adventure. Now, something that's very important to note here, you do have to be mindful that our point of sale is set up to allow you to override the settings that you set up in the package, meaning it will let me book any day. 
All right. In this case, um, I'm going to stick with the same day, but I just wanted to draw your attention to that, that the system, the POS just, it allows more flexibility on the fly. And that's the reason for that. So once we've selected the second item, you can enter information here if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and update the item. And I'm satisfied with this order, so I'm going to go ahead and click update the order. Here we can see our itemized inventory and our package is ready to be completed. So that's how you uh, process a point of sale booking. And I hope you've enjoyed this video on packaging. If you have questions about this feature or any other feature, please feel free to reach out to us at customersuccess at resgo.com.